IMN from 21 Readers. I read nine books in August and today I'm going to be giving awards to all of them. I also went to a 21 Pilots concert, hence why my voice is shot. It was my third time seeing them. I figured I'd mention it because one, my voice is shot and two, my channel is named after them. Luckily my wrap ups are short so let's get into the awards. Here we go, the first award of the night is the Reread It Just To Feel Something award and this goes to They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. Next we have the Beyond Boring award and this goes to The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. Next we have the Impressive Debut award and this goes to Seasons of Love by Helena Greer. Next we have the Fine But Forgettable award and this goes to In A Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Next we have the Didn't Want It To End award and this goes to Just By Looking At Him by Ryan O'Connell. Next we have the New Favorite Book of the Year award and this goes to I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Next we have the Family Drama or Family Trauma award and this goes to When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff. Next we have the Maybe Cult Books Aren't My Thing award and this goes to The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. And finally we have the Disorienting Reading Experience award and this goes to The Honeys by Ryan Lasala. Next we have the Medal Ceremony awarding my top three books of the month. The bronze model goes to Just By Looking At Him by Ryan O'Connell. This one we're following a gay TV writer who has a disability and it's a beautiful intersection of his experience being gay and his experience being disabled and it felt like kind of a slice of life story for him as he's in his mid-30s wondering what he should do next with his life and I just didn't want this one to end. I really enjoyed being in this character's head and also his messaging, especially about disability and visibility. The silver medal goes to When We Were Bright and Beautiful by Jillian Medoff. This is a mix of a contemporary family drama with legal thriller elements. And it was my first five star from a main book of the month pick this year, 2022. And there's a lot more layers to it that I'm giving off because the author is able to expertly peel back the layers of this family and what's really going on as you get through the book. So this one's very dark, darker than you may expect, and I was really engaged the whole time with all the elements of this family. And finally, the gold medal goes to I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This one is receiving much earned success and acclaim. I'm very happy for all of the success that it's getting. I had to take multiple breaks reading it. It was very cathartic for me to read as well as I'm sure it was for her to write. My favorite parts of the book were definitely the latter half of the book when Jeanette was recovering and healing from her trauma and I will remember this one through the rest of the year and it is my favorite book of the year. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on any of these books and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!